I am Jess from Knits Please and today I'm going to teach you a knitting technique which is stocking stitch, also known as stockinette. When working in stocking stitch you'll be alternating two different rows. So the first row will be a row of knit stitches um, and this will be the same for every odd row when you're working in stocking stitch back and forth on straight knitting needles. So your first, third, fifth, seventh, etc. rows will all be rows of knit stitches from the beginning to the end. I do have a tutorial that teaches you how to do the knit stitch, so if you'd like to watch that, you can find that in my other videos on my channel. So for the second rows, as I say, you alternate two different rows when knitting stocking stitch. So your second row will be a row of all purl stitches. Again, I have a tutorial that teaches you how to purl. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, you can find that in the videos on my channel. So the second row, uh, all other even rows, fourth, sixth, etc., those will all be purl stitches and it's the combination of these two rows that gives you stocking stitch. So one row of knit stitches followed by one row of purl stitches gives you stocking stitch. The side of the work that is knit stitches tends to be the right side of the work. Uh, so when you're working in stocking stitch, the side that has these little V shapes is the knit side and the right side. Uh, the purl side, which is the wrong side, has these little bumps. There are some patterns that call for reverse stocking stitch or reverse stockinette, which is literally just this, what we would normally call the wrong side of the work. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. If you like this tutorial or if you want any other tutorials, please check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Uh, do drop a comment below if you have any thoughts and like this video if you liked watching today. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at knitspleaseuk and on Ravelry as knitsplease. And I'll see you again soon.